Hello, good evening, and how you day? Welcome to another session of Ask the Doctors. My name is Frederick Unubohai, and I did privilege to be the host of this program. If you they hear me, if you can hear me, I want you to tell me where you they watch me from. If you they watch this video after we don't end the live session, sorry, yo, we no go free respond to you. Hmm? Uh -huh. We no go free respond to you. But if you know, say, you they hear me now. Uh -huh. You they live with me. I want you to tell me where you they watch me from. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Everybody where they watch me. Oh, yeah. Good evening. Tell me, where are you watching me from? Let's go. Let's go. Today, now, question and answer. Hmm? Question and answer session. So, we we will take your questions. If you get any question, please drop them here, and we go try. We go try to answer you. Chiwendo, Catherine. Good evening. Watching from Worry. Amaka. Amaka. How far? Good evening. Prince from South Africa. Don Weezy from Lagos. Amaka is watching me from Lagos. Hmm. Oh, we are now. Okay, so today we go take question and answer. Huh? Uh, we no go prescribe any medicine for you. And my co-host now, Dr. Israel. Dr. Israel is in the house today. So let me bring Dr. Israel up. Dr. Israel, good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, good evening. Happy Sunday. Yeah, happy Sunday. Ernest from Italy. Ernest, how far? Okay. Last week, we were not online. Many things happened. And one major reason why we're not doing online, now by the grace of God, we're doing online today. It's difficult to subscribe. We were trying to subscribe this platform, but because of the dollar issue, it's hard to subscribe. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I know say it did day hard for us. So, I make we know they live last week. And even this week, we never to subscribe. Hmm? Yep. So, Collins from Edo States. Doran from USA. Okay, we did live on Facebook. We did live on YouTube. Anywhere you watch us from, you did welcome. This program, now every Sunday by 8 p.m. West African time, myself and Dr. Israel, we did here. We did teach. We did answer questions. Get any questions for us tonight? Ask questions and we will try to answer you. I beg, share this video, invite your friends, and let's start. Okay. Um, Agama, oh, sorry, well, good evening. We have a question here, Dr. Israel. He said, Doctor, there was a video you said a woman can't get, get pregnant when she is not on ovulation. Is it true? Okay. A woman cannot get pregnant when she is not ovulating when she's not on, on her ovulation so outside of the ovulation no pregnancy you're asking let me allow dr israel respond to that question okay there are two there are different ways to answer that question so if you say is uh, outside the ovulation if the woman can get pregnant if the woman meets the man and um, close to the ovulation time, there's every tendency that it can be pregnant because uh, during the, the what we call the fetal period, and we know the ovulation are just one day, but when the fetal miracles are present, the sperm fish spend more than 24 hours. And when it spend more than 24 hours, even before the ovulation reach, yes, the woman can get pregnant. Or sometimes when it can't be say the woman don't ovulate already, the egg can actually stay 24 hours or uh, to, to 48 hours. So if it can't be like say it happened that way, uh, the woman fifty get pregnant. However, the second way to answer this question is that if this woman not the ovulate at all, then the woman not go fit get pregnant on her own. Except we can't they can't do any assistance for her. They can't assist her and using IVF or other means of assisting to assist the woman before the woman go fit get pregnant. But outside that one, yeah, the woman may not be able to get pregnant. 
Okay, Catherine, I hope you don't get the answer. If you just they come today, we they do question and answer. And um, if you get a question for us, ask us your question. We will try answer you. Mm -hmm. But please note that many people they hear. So if you ask question, and we know it never reach your time, you're gonna to need to get patience. Eh? And uh, I hope we don't answer your question, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. If there's another question here, good evening. Um, Benedita, good evening. Rachel, I'm leaving for you. Okay, share this live, share this live. Let's go, everybody. Share this live. Um, so concerning the question, many women don't even know about their ovulation. They just believe that I day on my period, my period finish, I meet my partner. It's important you know your ovulation. You know the signs of ovulation. You know your fertile window because you might just be knocking and you're, you're not even knocking at the right time. Yes. Okay. Very good. Hmm? Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, ask us. Ask us your question. Ask us your question, and we will try. Oh yeah. Share this live. Share the live. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. My blood pressure is one thirty four over sixty six. Where is the lower one now going lower than the upper one? Doctor Israel, you want to respond to this? Well, if your blood pressure is one thirty four over sixty six, I'm not sure. So you get anything to the worry yourself about. Um, just I will want you to just I don't know your age, but just continue checking your BP as a regular thing that you do, but. Uh, to me, you don't need to trouble yourself. I think you are still having, you are still within the normal. So just relax your mind. Yes, you've gotten the answer. You don't have any problem. Just keep on checking your blood pressure. You, because we don't know a lot about you, but based on what you don't send us here, we don't think you have an issue like that. Um, uh -huh. no, no, nobody says the lower one is bad. And nothing about the lower one is bad your bp looks good based on the question here hmm? yeah if you just come you feel welcome with the answer questions tonight last week we were not here we've been finding it difficult to subscribe after today we might even lose this account right it's difficult huh? it's difficult to subscribe because of the whole dollar issue but we're trying we're hoping that we can sort this out um if you get any question i beg try ask us your question make we um answer you good evening good evening shared also call me good evening how are you day uh agatha ifama how are you okay okay we have a question here. It says, please, doctor, is it good to give kids from 10 years old lemon water to drink? Dr. Israel, I beg. Well, I don't know. Um, when you say lemon water, I really don't understand that lemon water. Is it that one way? Uh, is the normal water you just cut lemon and put inside or um which of the lemon water if it's just the one that there is normal water you just cut your lemon and put inside and you serve it for the children to drink i, I don't think there's anything bad in giving them that the, that water to drink yeah i don't think there's anything bad except maybe there's other preparation you are doing to call and uh, lemon water but if it's just the one i explained i'm not sure say it bad okay Please ask us your question. This is the reason why we are here tonight. Um, now we will want, we will want answer question. Um, normal water. Lemon. Okay, normal. Let me even go live on TikTok. Normal water with lemon. Okay, and no problem. Um, uh, we have a question here. Now this for this question where they ask us. I believe you know the answer, but you are asking us. No problem, we'll go answer you. Gozie Italo, if I got it well. He said, um, good evening, Doc. What are the causes of frequent urination? 
Dr. Israel, I beg, respond. Uh, many things because frequent urination. I will start from if you drink water too much. Uh, let's start from something like the normal. If you drink water too much, there's every tendency to say you're going to urinate frequently. First of all, what if you frequent urination? Frequent urination simply means say the person they urinate often and often more than the normal way when the person they, they urinate. Yeah. And most of the time <coughs> now when for nights you don't get up more than more than your normal time of frequent yeah. this person they get frequent urination. So when you drink too many water, there's every tendency that you may have frequent urination. And that's the that one is normal. That one will tell you, say yes, your kidney they work very well. Another thing is that there are some drugs where if it causes you to get frequent urination, some hypertensive drug, fee cause them. Then another thing is that if you get many sugar for your body, one of the signs, and when we see today, they find that if the person gets uh, so many sugar, now frequent urination, and uh, that urination, if they urinate, if they get tasty, you know, they gain weight, yeah, we can actually want to find that why if they urinate very well. Now another one can still be infection. And when infection, they cause frequent urination. The person will repeat small, 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 small urine. And sometimes you feel they get pain when urinating as well. Then for men, other things will physically cause, uh, okay, sorry, before I go, men, for women, pregnancy physically cause frequent urination. Because when the belly door big, it will hold the rest of the bladder. So the bladder not go fit all urine. So because the bladder no fit all urine, the person will urinate frequently. Then for men, if you get prostate uh, problem, if you get frequent urination, that are one of these, uh, that are one of these uh, symptoms uh, where you go feel follow uh, prostate issue. Now sometimes if person see they get kidney problem, one stage of kidney problem, if you become frequent urination before you come be saying no, come they urinate again and so on and and so forth. I think this one, so that you mentioned, um, uh, I think there are still some few that may cause it, but these are the major ones and eh, where they come on when it cause frequent urination. So, Dr. Fred, over to you. Thank you, Dr. Israel. Welcome, everybody. We did live on Facebook, we did live on YouTube, and then I also did live on TikTok. Make we yeah. try to take as much questions as we can. Um, somebody says, Sunday, good evening. I just want to say thank you for time last two weeks Sunday. I waited last week Sunday, but okay, last week Sunday we were not online because we couldn't subscribe every month to be able to do this live session on Facebook and YouTube. They pay dollars, but we can't because of the Nigerian issue. That was why we were not online last Sunday. Even today, we never see subscribe. Not so be far con, not be half con, no. half con, not get what you do to our subscription, our program. <laughs> We have come, you understand? Uh -huh. We understand that they are important events, but even if we will not be on, I will let you know. We've always been here, so no vex. Mm? Now, dollar, they mess us up. That is why. Hello, I like to know if there is a limit to the Maggie we can consume. I'm a bachelor and I usually consume Maggie a lot, so I would like to know what it contains and how often we should take it. Dr. Israel, over to you. No, Dr. Fred, answer this one. Now, there's been so much uh, information going on about Maggi, the side effects, with regards to MSG and the rest. If it's possible that whenever you cook your food, you use crayfish, you use nutmeg, you use ginger, and other things, fine. If it's possible, you get any people right now, then not the Maggi for their food. What they use, they, they use crayfish, they use ginger and the rest, the, the, the normal stuff and your onions. But if you know fit and you must use Maggi, then we're going to encourage you limit them, no use them. You understand? We are giving you two sides, so because some people go to say, don't use Maggi. <laughs> if you know, say you know fit and your body, your food, you must put Maggi, reduce the amount. Try crayfish. Try nutmeg, try ginger, try garlic, try cloves and the other stuffs to help your food. Because these stuffs, actually, we don't want them too much in your system. Huh? Good evening. Please, is it bad to add salt to plantain when frying? Please explain. Thank you very much. Dr. Israel, should I, should I respond? 
Yes, respond. Okay. Uh, normally, plantain gets sweet taste. If you no put salt for your plantain, your plantain goes to sweet. But over the years, from one generation to another, we believe that you must sprinkle salt inside. Now, the problem is that some people don't even know the amount of salt to put. They go to pour pack the salt. And as medical professionals, we know you want me to chop too much salt in your system because um, excessive salt will cause you problems. So we go advice. Try not to even fry your plantain with salt. Do your best not to do that. But we also understand that it's very difficult for some people. Listen, medicine no be, say, you must. Some people know fit. So if you must, Celestina, I beg, little. I'm saying if you must, not as if I want you to. But if you must use salt, then put a little in your in your plantain because the plantain already they sweet. Adding extra salt, not be to not be for the plantain. Now your body go harm. Do you understand? Hmm? Okay, we have a question here from Rita on Facebook. Rita Iyere says, "Good evening. My sugar level is seventy eight percentage. Well, that is not how we calculate sugar. I have been taking sugary drinks to boost it." But it's still the same. Dr. Israel, I want to respond. Okay, uh, if your sugar level is 78, I don't think you should be troubling yourself. Uh, you're taking sugar drink, sugar whatever to boost it up. You are just you are just taking it for taking sake. Now, uh, let me ask you, what time do you normally do this sugar test? If it's in the morning, maybe before you eat everything. 78 is normal. And eh? normal the norm for fasting blood sugar. We know we have different type of sugar tests. We have the fasting blood sugar, the one you do in the morning before you take anything. That's at least by 8 a.m. You should have done that. Then we have the random blood sugar, the one you can do even when you have eating something. And for the fasting blood sugar, the normal is between 60 to 110. So if you're having 78, it means that you are still within the normal range. You don't need to the trouble yourself. Say you can't go to collect many sugar things. And another thing, you they sweat or you they get a uh, dizziness or you they feel like fainting. Uh, if you are not having all those symptoms, I don't think you, you may you they worry yourself as well. Now, for all the last two questions, I, I was just laughing as I told uh, Dr. Fresh to make an answer. So, for that plantain, whether you are salt or you know not salt, it depends on you. But all we have to say for that one now, maybe you not have too many salt because salt can also cause other problems to you. But why must you add salt when you poop your plantain for hot oil? It's already sweet. I don't think there's any need you you adding adding salt. Now, too much of everything, I would say, they bad. And your mangi, you don't need to put too much. Because as some many of all these things, when we never can know, ah, people tell they could get cancer of different things. So all this refined product, we need to they um. Um, take them in a, in a moderate form so that may we not by ourselves use and cause problem for our body. So, um, Rita, please, your sugar level is within normal, so I don't think you should trouble yourself. <coughs> Thank you. And if I may add, now who they advise Una with this value to go be a drink sugar drinks? Because I believe that somebody could tell you, say, they low, may you go drink. So I beg, be careful with all these things where you they put in your body. If you know the medical professional advice you, eh? their sugar level is fine. If you have any other opinion, hmm? see your doctor, me then check you. I beg. We have a question on Facebook. Olua Tony says, "Good evening. I have a friend that is pregnant, so she fell sick and she went to hospital for treatment. And the doctor said there is protein in her urine." after she did a test, although it has been treated. But I want to ask this. What can, okay, what can protein, okay, what can cause protein in urine? Does so Israel want to respond? Okay, uh, protein in urine. First thing first is that it's not really too bad uh, for pregnant women. In some cases, you can see protein in their urine, but it should be in a, a minimal uh, amount, small, very small. And because I even sugar accept sometimes, because then, you know, the, the urine formation, not the two work perfectly. I, I use the word perfect, not saying not the work, but not the view fit everything because of the pressure when the 
pregnancy they put for all of them so everything one quick come on everything one quick come on so because of that the fish is small small amount trace of protein but when you start seeing a lot of protein in urine infection can cause it even in pregnancy then they get what they call uh preeclampsia and eclampsia they can actually cause protein in urine so when you start seeing protein in urine you you need to be wary of preeclampsia whether this woman do they get a, a problem then you need to see leg whether a leg swell and if the swelling for the leg the pain are. so if all those things can they happen and that woman need to they see doctor every time every time because uh, if possible in some cases they may want to even admit the woman to deliver in some cases will not be all not be all cases then if they get that protein for urine and you can't get what do they call fit that is conversion you all know say they go want to bring down that baby immediately then see if you don't reach time to bring down the baby or they go want to do anything to make sure say that baby uh, that woman the baby they are alive and if you still notice when, when they get protein for urine you check your bp your bp physically go up eh? Your bp physically go up so it's just like a cascade we have what we call pregnancy induced hypertension that one i feel it to preeclampsia then preeclampsia will come lead to eclampsia so when you know they see preeclampsia it means say it gets protein for urine and it bp day hop then eclampsia will come be say bp day hop it get protein for urine and it can't get convulsion then you can't call an eclampsia so these are some few things when you cause a uh, protein for urine for pregnant for pregnant women thank you dr before we continue people are not sharing the live people are not you understand they know they share at all it's surprising like 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 really except few few people the rest of us know they share why why guys why okay what is the cause whenever someone make out with her man after some days he will start having fever he will not be comfortable till he take drugs he will be fine okay but when he make out with her with condom nothing will happen but when he make raw he will not feel fine what is the cause hmm so israel on well the answer now i don't know what is the cause if such person they get such problem he should go to the hospital he go and meet his doctor and make a complaint if they are need to call both the two partners so that I mean they can run some investigation they will come run some investigation know if there's anything that's wrong with the that's wrong and they will be treated perfectly and uh, sometimes um it, it, i don't know sometimes some people are just like that but i think I think they need to see their doctor. That's the best uh, advice for now. If you just they come, you they welcome. We they do question and answer today. We they live on Facebook. We they live on YouTube, and I also they live on TikTok. Um, I they take questions majorly on Facebook and YouTube. But if anybody get question for us on um, TikTok, please drop your question there. Myself and Doctor Israel. We're right here with me on Facebook. Um, we could try and answer your question. Um, I have also shared. Okay, thank you for sharing. Good evening, doctor. Please, is it good to take boric acid or to sit on hot water after menstruation to stop the bad smell? First thing, after your menstruation, you are not even supposed to be having bad smell. And right. if you're having bad smell, it means that there's a poor there's a poor hygiene. And so you need to take care of your poor hygiene. Eh? So when you take care of your poor hygiene, there will be no bad smell. So taking boric acid, sitting on hot water, does not have anything to do for you. Just make sure you take care of yourself during before, before and during meses. Take care of your hygiene level. Then after your menstruation, take care of your hygiene level. And I don't think you'll be having any bad smell and all that. And that depends on how many times you even change your pad. How many times you take your baths. How many pad, uh, uh, how many times uh, just know the hygiene level you need to take care of and in that aspect during that period. And then you know what to do. Then if you also be having pain, serious pain during this menstruation period and you're having this kind of pain, please see your doctor. There might be another thing wrong not just uh, 
having the pain and not just having the smell alone. Okay, thank you, Dr. Israel. We have a question from Salamatu on Facebook. There's a question on TikTok, but let's take on Facebook. Good evening. Is it normal for a woman to feel pain during intercourse? Well, it's not normal for a woman to feel pain during intercourse. Now, there are some few reasons that can make a woman to feel pain during intercourse. One, if the woman is dragged, eh, there will be pain. Eh? Two, if the, man, if the woman is dragged and the man was not gentle, there will be pain. And two, if there is an injury, there will be pain. Then three, infection can also cause pain during intercourse. So it's not a good thing for a woman to feel pain during intercourse. So if you think that your own is maybe dryness, you need to uh, make sure uh, two ways you can make yourself not to be too dry is one, uh, maybe when I will play well, well before the knocking or two, go to the call lubricant, use lubricant before the knocking, then the pain will not be there. Eh? However, if you can't be say after you do all those ones, you see they get pain, it means that you need to see your doctor and make complaints. So, other things can be the cause of that. Not only infection, but there are some problems with the uterus that can also cause, make you to have pain during, uh, during knocking. Thank you, Dr. Israel. Before we continue, people day here, um, we now know they like, we now know they share. The only thing we now care about is to just come, ask questions, and run away. Not be so that they do things. Eh? You understand? Yeah, as you watch us, so remember, we know even they ask you for any money. Like, share, invite your friends. Basically, that is all we are asking from you. But we notice say Una know they send like that. Why? Okay, we have a question on TikTok before we go back. Um, this person says, I saw my menstruation on the sixth. Please, when is my ovulation time? Thank you. Okay, let me respond quickly. Um, B A we know if we calculate your ovulation for you because there are many things to know about ovulation. If you want to know more about ovulation, you have to go to the page, watch many videos. You need to know the length of your menstrual cycle. Very important. And then, or you go download one app. Your, your menstrual cycle also has to be regular. Mm -hmm. And when you know them, you can now calculate it. But say you just come online, I saw my period on the 1st of January. When is my ovulation? No, that's not how it works. There are many things you need to know. Mm -hmm yeah what's your facebook handle so go to facebook or youtube on uh, facebook type dr fredo star official let me just show you here um dr fredo star official that is the name um on facebook on on youtube dr fredo star so this is it um so let's take another question on facebook it says please is it possible for high blood pressure to be reversed back to normal Okay, when you say reverse back to normal, I, I, I don't understand. Because if I say yes now, if I say yes, it will be like say you don't, it's a cure. But the answer is if you are on your medication, if you are, if the person is hypertensive and is on medication, your BP can be normal and can remain normal as far you are taking your medication but once you stop to the take your medication the bp will go back it will go up again and right? so the only way it can come back to normal now when you day on bp no medication and you are taking it regularly as your doctor to tell you make you take the taker but if you can't stop her the bp will go up again so reversing to normal yes but not be say it don't cure because bp not gets uh and not be bp hypertension and like the which is high bp you not get cure with the only fit manager mm -hmm. because now one of the chronic uh, diseases that's not one of the non communicable disease that we have yes and i think i have an idea why she's asking because i have seen people where they do advertisement for you and they will tell you say they can help you cure your high blood doctors are lying to you they don't want to tell you the truth. 
and then they package their advertisements that you fall for it. When you go there, you go, you go surely buy something and you know, they cure BP. If you maintain a good, healthy lifestyle, all the things will warm you avoid. And if you take medication, if you're on medication, your BP go there within that normal range. But if you stop all those things, you leave them, you they do anyhow with your lifestyle, or you stop your medication, your BP go fly, go back up. Basically, that is what it means. Huh? Doctor, I want to ask you, to take Primolute N to regulate my period, hope it's okay. Well, the answer to that question is, please go and see your gynecologist and ask and act so that may you not go take what you can't regret later eh? so see your gynecologist uh, he will tell you if it is okay and if it's if there are other medication he want to give to you he will also let you know hmm? because there are other questions where he will need to ask you and some other things where he will need to know before he will know whether that will be okay or not more than not you the see drug for anywhere just carry and use please we have a question on TikTok. More will make a sharply because so many. So many the, what causes steady heart one? You said? What causes steady heart bone? Steady heart bone. You say steady heart bone? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> What should be steady at bone? Okay, now at bone, at bone, and at bone. If you they get time continuously, it means that you they always they provoke, you they always they provoke your stomach. Eh? So when you are having at bone, many things because if you don't, they turn to uh, ulcer already. So some food because uh, some people go eat beans and they go get heart bone. Some people can take peppery thing and they go get heart bone. Some people can take gaseous things, drinks when it contain gas. And they go get heart bone. So you can find that some stressful activities physically cause heart bone. You don't eat for a long time, can actually cause heart bone as well when you can't take something. So you go find that for yourself. Which of them, which of this uh category you fall put? So if you don't know the category you fall put, you don't know how you go to regulate yourself. So I mean, you know, they get this heart bone continuously. So uh but if you constantly say if they continue, they continue and beg, go see your doctor. A gastroenterologist will be the best person for you to see. He go examine you. If there's a need to do some investigation like endoscopy, he go tell you, and then they will give you the best treatment that you need. Thank you, Israel. If you just they come, we did live on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. We did take questions tonight. And um, thank you for the gift, Juliet Richard. People know they people know this, know they appreciate this kind of thing. Now, other things people they appreciate. It's all good. Somebody's asking us a question here. It says, which folic acid pregnant woman fit take? Preg uh, folic acid now, folic acid. Anyone may take now the same folic acid. Uh, folic acid now get different type. Yeah? Folic acid is folic acid. It is better for this woman to start taking folic acid from the beginning of his pregnancy. For the first trimester, folic acid is very, very important because at that time, all the part of the body they form and folic acid is needed mainly uh, for mostly for that time uh, because it helps for the formation of the body eh? so that made the body perform well, most to, read, to stop uh, what they call neural tube defect and all that. So folic acid is very, very important. Uh, most mainly the first trimester, but other trimester, it is also very good you take your folic acid. Okay. We have a question here on Facebook from Daniel. Doctor, is this natural detox drink I always prepare for myself? I grind cucumber with ginger, mix the juice with honey. I take it once every morning before eating. Should I stop doing that? Hmm. Let me allow Dr. Israel to respond. Well, what you are doing is okay, cucumber, ginger, or whatever, and onion. It's okay, it's fine, it's not bad. 
you can continue doing it. It's not it's not a bad thing. It's just like you're taking it. It's just like you're taking juice. It's not in quotes. Let me remove something from your mind. There's nothing like it's not any detox. I don't know. You're not detoxing any, anything. It's just, it's just like you're taking juice. Eh? Cucumber and fruits now. Eh? Ginger. And, it's just a, it's a good habit. I will, I will say that it's a good habit. And please keep it up. Continue. I like that. Thank God. You see, the to respond because I know where uh, Daniel was going. That that word detox drink, my brother. Now juice you they drink, fruit juice. Now you they drink. That word way we they like carry for our head. I detox. Det I want to detox. So when you have that word in your mind, you feel like you are. I'm detoxing, <laughs> bro. What you they do is healthy. Is good for you continue but say you are detoxing uh -uh. you're you are just taking something healthy and your liver your kidneys your lungs your skin they are all helping you to remove any toxin huh i always share thank you for sharing good evening please what can cause throat to scratch someone hmm yeah, according to the weather where you did now, you should know that I, I don't know if you're in Nigeria, but if you're in Nigeria, you should know that truth they almost scratch everybody nowadays because of the weather, the harsh weather can actually cause that. So when you don't you won't get cough, and some people can also be having the inchy throat. So I would advise that when you are having that, take a lot of fluid and take a lot of fluid. It can it can actually help you. It can actually help you. So in fact, this period, it, it, it will be nice for us to be hydrating ourselves well, well. That is taking water of any kind of fluid, but take a lot of fluid this period. Those of us in Nigeria. Yeah, for those of us in Nigeria, take enough enough fluid. Uh, somebody is saying cucumber na vegetable, garden egg na vegetable is not fruit. It no consign me, whatever. We are not doing a um, nutritional class here. Whether not fruit or vegetable, that ain't my business. What I care about is that you are taking something healthy. You understand? Because we know they get time. It is a fruit. It is not a vegetable. It is a, it is a watermelon. Uh, um, in case you send you send us stars, gifts, please let me know. Look, we appreciate you. Um, um, to subscribe this this platform, they give us challenge now with the whole dollar matter. Mm? Thank you for those that are sending us yeah, um, gifts. Thank you. Good evening. How true is it um, that every woman, how true is it that every woman who menstruates ovulates? Okay. Okay. Um, ovulation comes before menstruation. So once a woman is menstruating, is there's every tendency that is ovulating. However, there are some cases when some people feel not ovulate, but they go menstruate. And the ego be say the body be they prepare for ovulation, but the ovulation fee. And because they prepare for ovulation, now make it still menstruate, but sometimes the ovulation fee fee. So uh, the truth is that yes, if majority of the person that menstruate ovulate, but there are some persons that may have ovulation failure. And they're not going to ovulate and they go fit menstruate. And also, if you are on any, uh, if you are on um, uh, family planning, family planning, most of the people on family planning, no, they, they, they may not, they not, they, they, uh, they're not, they're not ovulate, even though they see their men's, the men's is when they, they see those are uh, um, uh, contraceptive bleeding, and eh? the those are contraceptive bleeding that just they come as the form as a uh, menstruation for for most people so so the thing is that yes if you are menstruating you are supposed to be ovulating but in some cases some people don't ovulate when they are menstruating so when you are not ovulating when you are menstruating it's a problem so you need to see a doctor to correct that problem and a gynecologist is the person you are supposed to see because if you're not going to ovulate, it means that you're not going to give birth to a child as at that time. Hmm? So okay. say, doctor, I go help you out. Thank you, Dr. Israel. Our time don't they go. Um, we don't answer your question. What causes steady heart burn? We don't answer your question. Huh? Sorry, we've answered you. 
um if you are just coming you do welcome can a pregnant woman take folic acid two times a day okay folic acid is taken once a day taking it two times a day is wastage eh? it's wastage because even that once a day which is five uh, five milligrams when we they give it's even more than enough that the body need you get that it's more than enough that the body need so even that one half of it they even waste doctors will say you can't go take two times a day it's wastage eh? and it's like overdose but once a day is the recommended dose for folic acid for any woman not just a pregnant woman every woman in a childbearing age suppose they take folic acid Inyoma Christine, thank you for the stars you sent. Thank you very much. I appreciate you um, for the stars that you sent. I they drop those videos for our private place. Una know the comments. Those of us where they be private. Una they look the video there, Abi. Okay. Waiting the cause, Hainia. Okay, Dr. Fred, answer this one. Let's Hainia, I don't talk too much. Yeah. So waiting the cause, Hainia. Now, first of all, what is Hainia? Hainia means that a part of the bowel or the body, eh? it don't come out. So when there's a weakening, you'll be like, you be like, you be like, like this now, something can come out from the body, eh? like balloon, hmm? a weakening in your abdominal wall, weakening. And most importantly, the cure for hernia now surgery. Um, there's no tea. You understand? There is no tea that you will drink or you massage that will co correct hernia. Anybody will get that different types of hernia, different types, so many types of hernia. Um, the only cure for hernia now surgery. Anybody will tell you say you get tea. Say if you drink this tea, go cure hernia. The person is actually just there to lie to you and um and take money from you. What month should a pregnant woman start using pregnant care medicine? The moment the woman is planning to get pregnant, she's supposed to start her medication before you even get pregnant. Tosin, woman won't get belly. Oh, I the plan me and my me and my partner with a plan to get picking. Don't they try? At that time, you're supposed to start. Not be even when you get belly. Now you they start. Do you understand? It's important you start. It's called preconceptional care, taking of your folic acid and other medications before you even get belly. That is what we advise. But we notice that some women, they will even get belly. They're not going to take. They could just they live their life, which is not okay. Because that baby that they carry for belly, he need all these medicines early. And if you miss some, if you affect the pekin from the brain, the spinal cord, and other parts of the body. Uh, my two-year baby swallow a coin today. Hope, no problem. <laughs> Dr. Israel, I beg. <laughs> Okay, if the baby is not having problem, maybe he's not asking for a throat. Um, most likely go he go pass her out as a uh, stool. He uh, go shit and come out. However, if as a swallow they get problem, I better carry and go hospital uh, so that maybe see out of it removal. But if you know it's not having problem, most likely you pass it out as stool. Don't no fear. I don't know how we, how we allow that baby swallow coin. You understand? I don't know how. It's not it's not nice, please. Um so what their best advice is put eye on that picking now. Or it's also watch the picking. Because that coin make it no good day stocked anywhere, you understand? But if you pass through the picking shop, no problem. Okay, the fish it um. But if you know the picking when they get complain like that, um make you go cry and go to me and check out. Hmm? My gynecologist was the one who asked me to take premolute end. Okay, good, no problem, you're fine. Um Please, I have been having chest pain for a while, but recently, whenever I take chewing gum, the pain goes away. Please, why am I having the relief? Chest pain on the left side for a year now. Okay, well, I think you need, for this one, you don't reach a year, and it's in the left side. Please see your doctor, eh? Try and see your doctor. They, they may have a lot of questions to ask. I don't know why chewing gum, they re, re, relieve her. Huh? But just you need to see your doctor. They may have a lot of questions to ask you. And you may be asked to do some investigation to check your uh, lungs, yeah, your lungs and your heart. Eh? They may want to see those uh, organs for your body. So with that, they will know if there's anything they will want to say or they will want to do for you. 
somebody sent or uh, sent me pastica on youtube doren gilman um doren gilman i want to say thank you thank you so so much because a lot of people do they appreciate us and most of this money we collect for here we they use them um, take do more content so thank you very much um for this um stuff where you send um i see it and i'm grateful thank you very very much um we have we still have a lot of questions in your christine and other people we subscribe to my private telegram where they watch me i'm sorry i mentioned your name but i know say so you did there uh you you be og thank you for subscribing huh thank you so much um this subscription then they help us pay all these things online let's see i always have headache whenever i finish my period and until i take like malts and thin tomato before i will get myself i don't like taking pain relief what's the cause of headache after period <laughs> well i don't think you even need those uh malt and thin tomato that your thin tomatoes now make me laugh pass but i think once you just see your period just they take your follic uh, sorry your uh, um blood medicine eh? sorry i mentioned i mentioned the name of drug here yeah, but um just they take your facility eh? that one will help you you don't need all those uh, many things most of the reason why you they get that headache it might just be that your blood level don't reduce more eh? and uh, i think there's a quick drop of your blood level that make you they get headache because your brain need this blood flow where they carry oxygen to the brain so for some persons for some ladies once they are seeing their menses that I, 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 uh, that blood flow to the brain when they carry oxygen to their brain it they reduce somehow and because of that reduction it will cause headache so you need to replenish that blood that was lost during the menses and that's where your blood medicine come uh, come to play so you don't even need to wait till after the menses before you take it and sometimes if if you and sometimes if you don't also want to take uh, those blood medicine, you feel they take a lot of fluid, take a lot of water and all that. So you go reduce the number of blood cells that, that is uh, lost from your body. Eh? You go reduce the number of blood cells that, that you will lost. But the good thing is to just take your blood syrup <clears throat> and you'll be fine. We have a question on TikTok. Can a woman with hernia go through pregnancy without doing the surgery? Okay, depends on the type of hernia the woman is having. As Dr. Ferris talked, there are different types of hernia. Even sometimes some pregnancy can actually uh, uh, push out a uh, 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 hernia, hernia. And, but it depends on the uh, type of hernia the woman is having. And you know, hernia does not really cause a problem or thing when it is strangulated. And that is when it starts giving problems. So if it's not strangulated, it's not, uh, and you're not having problem with it, why you can't you go on with your pregnancy? You can do your pregnancy, and when you are ready for the surgery, you go and do your surgery for the hernia. But we are only scared, make it not go strangulate. Because if it's strangulated, it will lead to blood loss. So that uh, uh, intestine will go enter inside the waking place. It will lead to blood loss. And you know when blood not reach some place, now go the you the, you the person go the get pain and the pain can be very severe and can cause anything and <clears throat> because blood not serious there that part of the intestine will die and then you can the cause gangrene infection peritonitis and all that thing even happen through that through that process so the good thing is if you notice any pain if you don't notice any pain as you get the pregnancy for the hernia, I beg, it is nice you just go and reduce the hernia and, and help yourself. But you can actually carry your pregnancy to 10, even with hernia. Okay, thank you, Dr. Israel. Please, I have a sore throat. I don't know what is the cause. Well, if you get sore throat, most, if you're in Nigeria, most people get sore throat this period. So it's an, uh, 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 most of the time, you know, say, <coughs> if you don't get sore throat, maybe cough and cut out one, one follow and come. And you know, these are bacterial infection, viral infection and all that. So you need to be hydrated and you need to take care of your environment. Then with that, you'll be okay. You'll be fine. Yeah. 
please, if you know you are gaining value, if you know you are gaining value, if you are gaining, eh, help us to gain value by liking and sharing. That way, we too will gain from you. You like and share. That is all we are asking for. We know something you send us anything. If you want to send, it's okay. But to support us, I beg, like and share. Um, good evening, doctor. Please, how can someone manage cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia. Okay. Uh, so manage sickle cell anemia is just for you to first of all not make sure say the sickle cell come to play. And uh, then our first thing, not your salary and come. Eh? So it means say, if you are AS, try not to get married to an AS if you want to give birth to it, if you want to give birth to a child. Eh? Then I one way to manage them. But other ways to manage that is that you, the, the, any sickle cell anemia, anemia patient, any sickle cell patient, get their normal routine medications when they, they take eh? and the normal things when they need to they do. Let that person they do those normal things. And if they do those normal things, take a lot of fluid, take their folic acid, their Sunday Sunday medicine for malaria, and uh, try to run away from stress and all that. You not go get crisis. And if you not get crisis, you not go get problem. So because now their crisis might be their problem. So if you feed all those things for that person, and the person not go get problem, and that's how you have managed the sickle cell. Thank you, Dr. Israel. We are almost out of time. I wish we could stay more here because until we subscribe again, get us the matter, Gobi. Um, good evening. At what month should a pregnant woman start taking? We've answered you. Um, good evening. Can someone waiting for pregnancy take coenzyme Q10? Sorry, I don't know what to be coenzyme Q10. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, for me, I did like tell her the truth. Make her not come go, make her not go mash line. I don't know what is that, but I think if you are looking for pregnancy or you are waiting for pregnancy and it never come, just go see your gynecologist. He go tell you what to take and what to do. In fact, the first thing what you need to do for people waiting for pregnancy is to know your ovulation. Is to know when is your ovulation. Some of us not get problem, just that we don't know how to time our ovulation so time your ovulation make sure you are having regular uh what we say uh, regular knocking eh regular knocking when i say regular knocking mean that you will have at least three to four times in a week that be complete knocking and that knocking must the there must be a good penetration and a good ejaculation so if there's a good penetration and good ejaculation then and at three times three to four times in a week, then you are ready to become pregnant. Not be the one when you day uh, so to your husband, they are be a kuta and on the meet once in once in two once in two months and you are saying you are not getting pregnant. But if you know you are doing like that and you are able to time when is your ovulation period. Waiting happen to your network, Dr. Israel. Because I know they, I don't even know where you, what you're talking about. Okay. So we're talking about coenzyme Q10. Sorry, no vex. Because wait, wait in the talk, my mind not there. But let me answer your question. Coenzyme Q10. I've, I don't they see them online. A lot of people, they tell you, say, make you go drink them. Number one, coenzyme Q10. Na antioxidants. Now like supplements. So if you're finding it difficult to get belly, like, I don't know, maybe they try bump again. Coenzyme Q10, no go say because you drink them, then you go carry belly. It's, 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 it's an antioxidant, um, and hen, and like supplements. And we no go even encourage you to just go market, go they drink Coenzyme Q10 like that. Because I see people, they can, they can package this thing and advertise it for you. And if you're not careful, you go around buy them, thinking say it gets, the solution to your problem because we know you need antioxidants but i beg um if you find it difficult to get pregnant maybe your relation time i'm well meet your partner and everything being equal you will get pregnant but if you find it difficult to carry belly um see your doctor yeah can you get hynia twice yes the answer is yes you can get hynia twice there's a question on tiktok i want to i want to be very fast because of time 
doctor use your network don't affect him you don't come out how do person manage hepatitis b the video is on my youtube i beg um hepatitis b okay doctor Israel is here and um, hepatitis b to manage it we've made videos about it me and doctor israel we don't do many live sessions um, about hepatitis b try go youtube and watch them um, but you need to manage them um, you need to know your viral load whether it did plenty or not if you know they plenty they will monitor you, advise you on what to do. If you did place, they will give you antiviral agents. Yeah? Um, okay, okay. So Israel, welcome back. Um, yes, you can you can have Hymia yeah, twice. Yeah, thank you. You can have Hymia twice. You can. It's possible. Hmm? Um, uh, let's see. It's also treatable. Yes, we have spoken about it many times. It's treatable, just that sometimes it can be very um chronic can be disturbing we say you go take medication for a long time then you go avoid certain areas so to know more i beg go to the page you will see videos where we don't do about ulcer eh? but to manage ulcer is possible but most importantly you have to be sure what you get now also because we they see a lot of people complain online then say i get ulcer how you tell no say you get ulcer now scan i do no 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 scan no go confirm ulcer the only way to confirm true true if now ulcer you get natural endoscopy so you have to be sure see what you get now ulcer then follow the medicine where your doctor give you follow the advice eh? avoid anything that will cause you heart burn and the ulcer um the ulcer by the grace of god go go down uh can pregnant woman take bp medicine dr israel <laughs> If the woman get BP, yes, they can take BP medicine, but they get the type when they, they where they go prescribe for the woman. They get the best type for pregnant women. So yes, pregnant women can take BP medicine. Okay, we have a question. Our time on this live session is almost up. Please, doctor, on TikTok. Um, why does this happen? Every month, a week before my period, I'm always upset. Why? <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know why you they upset, but it's just an hormonal thing. It's an hormonal thing. I think your hormone now they make you they upset. And if you be person where you notice say yourself by yourself, say you you not person where they uh, quick get angry over something before even before then. Uh, most of the time when your hormones are really playing on you, you go still get you see they upset like that. So now hormonal thing. And so you all try to look for things we go to calm you down so that make you not the day upset anyhow. Okay. Um, please, doctor, this all throat is over nine months, and whenever I sing, my throat smell. So throat nine months. Hmm. Ma ma madam, go hospital. Go hospital, please. Eh? You need to see the doctor for that. You never can tell what you are having in that your throat now. So just go to the hospital. Good evening, doctor. Please, what could possibly cause excruciating pain from the waist area through the thighs of a man? The pain is serious. Kindly help. Hmm. Okay, if the pain is serious, I don't think it's the person that has that excruciating pain. I don't think it's the person that is typing. But if the pain is serious, as you said, please go to the hospital. Eh? Go to the hospital because if the pain is serious, now you the type. It means the pain is not serious. That's what you mean. But if you, as you said, the pain is very serious, please go to the hospital. They may ask you a lot of other questions. If you hit the waist for anywhere, uh, your age, we want to know your age. We also want to know if you be one carry heavy load. You can't hear one sound for your waist. It can be boom. And we want to know all those things. So with all those questions, they will be able to know what and what to do for you we are almost out of the um we are almost out of time but before we end for those who want to join my private membership very important for those who they ask me please lecture us please lecture us no easy to lecture online no yeah because a lot of things i need yeah? you want to have those special privileges subscribe look at my page link there. click on the link subscribe download telegram it will carry you enter um the private telegram channel for there you get so many benefits many you understand you go you could join so what i did you did tiktok you did facebook you did youtube the link did the page look for, for um 
click on them. What are you Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, UK? Subscribe and join. People did here. Um, um I want to end right now. Um, you can watch the video on YouTube, yes, on ovulation. Um, we have to go now. Let's let's answer one question for TikTok. Doctor, please, why do I miss my period for a month? Then it later come back after a month. As we round up. Okay, if you miss your period in a month, then you come back in a month. One thing you should know is that uh, your period is not a monthly thing. It's a cycle thing. You want to ask yourself, well, how long is your cycle? With the kind of person where they get long cycle, they will be tendency say you feel not see your period one of the month like that. But you just have to find out what uh, what happened. And some person, some things, uh, if it be say a he, he not see her maybe because one thing, one thing happened, maybe uh, yeah. but let me do enter and later it can't come out or one anything can actually have caused that. Uh, that's if you get normal cycle. But if you be personally be say your cycle day long, uh, it's possible saying uh, you know it's possible saying uh, normal for uh, normal for you. So just try and find out, just look at yourself for uh, this time when you don't see her and, and the next time if you go see her for the next the next cycle and see how long is your cycle that you'll be able to get a good complaint to make um as we round up the time is we don't spend one hour and one minute is it good for a person with anemia to take antibiotics Dr. Israel Shapley. now when somebody have anemia you need to first of all go and you need to first well, see the word anemia the way they use the word anemia itself are they are they and if here now some somebody will get anemia you go to the hospital you need to be in the hospital and make a correct that anemia for that person yeah before the the, the the process of correcting the anemia they'll start to they look for waiting the cause within the cause that anemia so that's what they will correct if you need if the person need antibiotics he, he can take it but not be every time person need antibiotics. So if that person, if the doctor finds that he does not need antibiotics, there's no need giving that person antibiotics. But if he needs it, if the fee given. But the first thing is to find why that person get anemia and correct the anemia as quick as possible. Before you go get another thing. Um, as we round up tonight, first of all, we want to say thank you. Um? Everybody will watch us. This program, um, by the grace of God, now four years we don't did do one. And you get one thing way we they always tell people the habit of looking for medicine on internet is wrong. The habit of buying medicine from people on the internet is bad. Taking medicine on your own is very bad. Not because we, we won't show you, say no, because we understand the implication. And a lot of people don't 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 lose their life because of this. Not because they hear, and not because they beg you. So, no, just go take medicine anyhow. Ensure, say, your doctor, and they are aware. And if your doctor tell you, say, take them, please, follow your doctor's advice. Take the medicine. You understand? If you don't understand why, ask them. Now, your doctor, ask them. Listen, we are saying this, and we don't fear anybody. Don't be taking medicine anyhow on the internet or even from your friends, except my medical professional give out to you. I beg. But are your final words? Okay, uh, my final word is that um, I, what is Dr. Fred talk now? Now, true, I want to just also say, Mokuna, I beg. Eh? Um, and I want to know, Mokuna, not go hospital finish. The doc doctor don't tell you what you go do. You will come meet us for a year when they find out if. You should do that thing. If we can't say no now, nah, you can't, you know, can't do it. We not be your doctor. We just they try to educate everybody. And so that's why when we talk to now, we they always say, go meet your doctor. So you have the right to ask your doctor any kind of questions. Uh, and two, we to get topics these days, not the day funny. So if you think, say, you get one topic when you they, you, you, they trouble you for mind, when you think, say, we never address before, you can actually uh, send, it to, send it to us in any form you think you can reach us. And you feel your send up for any of our video on that, say, ah, Dr. Mukuna discussed this. And then 
we go look at it and see how we go to discuss those topics because to find topic these days eh bring the bring it they had for brain now and this though and the thought thing is that for us when in nigeria you can you, you, we notice say be like say the uh, the poor heat for nigeria this period everywhere is hot eh? so because everywhere they hot they even make some people they irritated they make some people even they quarrel or necessary quarrel and all that so let's try and they take a lot of water. Maybe they hydrate ourselves. Maybe we not they dehydrated because you the people they sweat anyhow these days. They piss they sweat anyhow, so they can dehydration is one thing when it come. So let's try to they hydrate ourselves. If you notice, say you don't they get headache and you they feel like say you want fall, you they faint. I beg, try to sit down one place and relax. And eh? try to sit down one place and relax. Not say I must rush, go walk, go kill yourself. Because if you die today, that walk will continue. Eh? So take life, JJ. And if you take life, JJ, you go be you go, you go feel do everything when you want to. So please, for us in Nigeria, try hydrate yourself a lot. And as I even thought on myself, I don't finish like one i don't finish water I, I don't know how many i don't finish. i don't finish a lot of water here as i talk to una so <laughs> as i <they> talk so <laughs> because it's it's not funny the heat is not funny so yeah. please try hydrate yourself and then um, don't worry we'll be fine and thank you so much for always being with us if not be now if not be you with another day yet now because of you that's why we are able to talk all this talk when we they talk for all the few ways they give us gifts, they share uh, uh, um, coin and all that. Thank you a lot. You you guys are doing well. Now, well done. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Israel. Please follow Dr. Israel. Look at his handle on the screen. Follow him. And then um, somebody's asking me, when is the last day of our fruit challenge? The last day of our fruit challenge is the last day of February. On the 1st of March, I will make a video and announce the winners. So if you know, say you did do the fruit challenge and you did follow the instruction on the 1st of March, 2024, I will make a video, announce the winners and give out money. So let me give you an expo. Um, we are giving out, we are giving out more than 200,000 Naira on the 1st of March for those that participated in the fruit challenge, more than 200,000 Naira. The sponsors sent me money so we are giving more than 200,000 Naira. So on the 1st of March, I will make a video and announce all the winners. Mm? So if you know, so what you know. Of, you, what of me will not participate? Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> me. Nothing. Nothing for you. Um, so <laughs> we, will, um, we will give out the money on the 1st of March. On Facebook, oh, only on Facebook. So follow me there. And um, thank you to all the gifters. Thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you. To you all watching this program is every sunday by 8 p.m to 9 p.m the reason why i did spend more out time here now because me they don't go ban this our subscription we if they ban them so me could just burn the time before tomorrow i don't know or we'll go try to subscribe again in dollars eh? thank you i appreciate you all now like you're winning nothing um take care guys remember good life now mm -hmm. now sense good life Nonsense. Thank you to all my gifters and God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye.